Scarlet and Violet have undoubtedly been the best games to shiny hunt in that we've ever seen. And yes, we've got a brand new method, which could be classed as some sort of a glitch in today's video. We're going to go through all the details to make sure you can take full advantage of this and get some more easy shinies in these games. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. So like I said, this new method was discovered a little while ago. What you're going to need to do is head over to the East Province area Area 3 this Pokemon Center here and we'll be heading to this area on your map so once you're at the Pokemon Center I want to just head this way and we are looking for an area with a little cave system in it okay and we want to come over to this area right here and there will be a cave right down here and this is the cave system where we're gonna to want to come into and you can see on your map this is where it is located just in case you didn't see initially and once you're in this cave you want to just head inside and you want to come like all the way down to this area and there'll be a trainer at the bottom and this is how you know you're in the right cabin you're going to get a bunch of different pokemon spawning in here you're going to get things like lavatar if you're in pokemon scarlet if you're in pokemon violet you're going to get big on you're going to get sableyes as well as salandits and a few other things glamora and stuff like that so when you're in this location you'll notice as well we've got three sableye there but if you notice where the next one spawns out in the wall they're kind of popping out the wall and this is a spawn point for specifically sableye Lavatar if you've got Pokemon Scarlet or Bagon if you've got Pokemon Violet and this is the exploit that we're going to want to use this specific spawn point where they're popping out the wall and we're going to lay down a sandwich to make even better use of this to generate as many shinies as you want and it's going to be super easy to do so you want to set up your picnic and then come to make a sandwich now you can make it whatever sandwich you want from whatever list we've got a bunch of different recipe lists we've got at the minute to make sparkling power with encounter power and that's all really you're going to want to concentrate on making sure that you get the encounter power and the sparkling power for the specific pokemon that you're hunting if you are in pokemon scarlet you're going to want rock or ground for the lavatar and that encounter as well if you're in pokemon violet you're going to want the dragon which is for the bagon with the encounter power or if you want to do something like sableye you can go for that dark or ghost encounter power and make sure that that's the only thing that spawns out so for this example we'll go for the sableye i'm going to pop on a ghost one and i'm going to use the recipe of two red onions green pepper red pepper yellow pepper and a prosecco and then i think we can use any combination of herba mystica see i'm running pretty low and that should give us the ghost encounter part and the sparkling power for ghost type and that is all we're looking for the encounter part and the sparkling power when we're shiny hunting so this is all done we've set a sandwich up we are ready to just kind of despawn our picnic area and then watch these shinies spawn in you want it you've got half an hour and you'll just see from this spot you're going to see these pokemon just jump in from the wall and this is all you're going to want to do you can just sit back and relax get on with something else if you want while these pokemon spawn in but if you do this you're going to bear in mind that you're going to get about 15 pokemon spawn in and then they will stop spawning in then you're going to have to set your picnic up despawn whatever's spawned in and then just set a picnic up right now and then we'll just despawn the ones that are there and then we'll respawn some new ones in but just make sure that you are the right distance at the, the time you know if you're setting a picnic up and also moving around Around a bit you might change the spawns but you need to be in the exact position where they are popping out of the wall like a little save life factory here you can see them all doing this but the other thing that you can do as well is use the let's go feature with your pokemon now there is a specific area in this tunnel where you can put your pokemon into let's go mode and they will just keep continually attacking these save life or whichever pokemon that you're spawning in and they will literally find a void in the floor which will mean that they just continually use that let's go feature until you decide do you want to stop this going any further you know you've got half an hour with your sandwich power we've been doing this like maybe a couple of minutes now so we can either just continually use the let's go feature where it will just continually knock out these pokemon and more will spawn in over and over and over again like the little sableye factory that we've set up here until that shiny does appear so it's a really easy way to get a shiny but the other thing is if the Azumarill falls into this void in the floor area in this space it will continue to stay there it will you'll have no worries about running back to you and then 
having to send it out again you can literally just let your pokemon just keep knocking these pokemon out until that shiny spawns and the nice thing about the let's go feature is they because your pokemon will never knock out a shiny pokemon you have got no worries about doing this like i'm just sitting here hands free now while the azumarill just goes to town on these sable eyes hopefully like i say by just doing this a few times we do get azumarill stuck in that kind of void area of the cavern because it's hard to get to it when you've got so many spawns out in the cavern with without initiating a battle with them. So you're kind of hoping most of the time that your Pokemon will eventually venture a little bit further, find the void, get stuck in there, and then the Sableye are gonna just spawn, keep spawning out of this area. And you kind of just need to, if they're not spawning out of the area where you want them to, or where that little area in the wall is, just move your character around, and then just that will ensure that these Sableye keep popping out of the wall. And like I say, it's, it's as simple as that. You can use it with Bagon. If you're in Violet, you can use it with Larvitar. If you're in Scarlet, and both copies can use it on the Sableye. Sableye is an easy one to spot because it is that gold color has got quite a nice shiny now i probably prefer setting up a picnic rather than using the let's go feature because you're running backwards and forwards to set up the let's go pokemon if they don't find the void in the floor where they're stuck and that just causes a lot of like just interruption to this process whereas you can just stand here with your picnic and literally when they stop popping out of the wall the factory runs out like they are now we're not going to see any more you just want to set your picnic up and it's so easy just to sit here and do this and this is what i mean you're probably going to get you're probably going to be quicker to go through picnics than it is to just use the let's go feature and have your pokemon kind of knocking each one out as they come in and out of the uh, of the wall there but you know it's entirely up to you if you want to combine this with using the let's go feature to get xp farming you're going to get item drops obviously from every single pokemon that you knock out be it the the lavatar the sableye or the bagon then they can be sold for money as well so you're going to be able to make a little bit of money back but i think overall the picnic method is probably quicker because we're literally seeing everything that spawns in here once they stop spawning in out of that wall we just hit the picnic it takes a couple of seconds just to get your picnic set up and then despawn it again and the process rolls over and you're going to be able to really expedite this whole situation and get a shiny very quickly in these areas and there we go we got a fish shiny it did pop out the wall there you can see the little gold shiny just shining through and now we've got to run the gauntlet a little bit to try and get to it you can use the let's go feature here to blast away at them but the problem is <laughs> the problem is uh you're gonna keep spawning more when you do use this let's go feature so we're gonna have to try and see if we can maneuver our way around the save light to try and get this shiny one and there we go so there we go, shiny save lie, love it, love it. So that is great that we've managed to get this one so quickly. And if you've got Dusk Balls, it's a good idea to use them because we're in a cave system. So you're gonna have that increased chance to catch these Pokemon, which we're not gonna get it the first time with this one. And there we go, critical catch, finally. Took a few Dusk Balls, I advise Dusk Balls, and of course it takes me about 10 Dusk Balls to get the Sableye. Use whatever ball you want. Right, once your shiny's caught, you can check to see how long of your sparkling power you've got left. We've only got four minutes, so we've not got very much longer. We've been doing this. I thought we'd get maybe more than one shiny from this, but we haven't been able to. So you can just repeat the process for the remaining you've got left, and hopefully you can get more than one shiny doing this method. Like I say, all you need to really do is be in the right spot to make sure that you are seeing these Pokemon spawn out of the wall like they are here. Either use the pick method or the let's go method to just knock these out or despawn them get them back respawning after you've done that method and then just sit and wait for your shiny while your sparkling part is active and then if the shiny doesn't appear in this first batch just repeat the method again and do it until your sparkling part ends and in that time you're bound to get a shiny because of the amount of pokemon that are kind of spawning in and out in such a short period of time with the higher shiny odds attached obviously if you've got the shiny charm you're going to get even more increased odds of the shiny spawning in the sparkling power alone is probably enough for you just to do this method but you're going to need herba mystica like you do with most things so that is all you're going to need to do like i say this is going to be able this is going to be a method that you're going to be able to probably do in a bunch of different locations around the region so if you found a different spot where you can do this and pokemon spawn in in this really specific way then this means that you're probably going to be able to apply this method to those locations as well and like i say if i do come across any more when i'm hunting 
and around the region for these. I'll definitely do an update video to say this is another location where you're gonna have an easy time getting these shinies. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. Hopefully you have fun with this little glitch of a method that allows you to exploit a game mechanic where you're gonna be able to get the particular shinies from this area a lot quicker. You can get Salandit from this area as well. Their tails do spawn from the ceiling. So if you want to do Salandit here, you can spot the white tail poking out from the ceiling. And that is a way to hunt this one as well in this particular area. So have fun with it. Let me know if you do try this out, how many shinies, what your best amount of shinies that you get from this area in one 30 minute sparkling power period. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you found the video helpful, please drop a like, do subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content and I will see you all in the next one. So until then friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.